here in this code sample we can see that we have simply created a form with a button and a text box when the user press the button on the server side uh, this function is invoked here is the definition of this function and the code executed inside this function actually goes over all variables that were received from the HTML form that the browser displayed. This is how we can get a collection of all of those variables received from the form so we can iterate those variables and as in this code sample simply display their names. So if I try to execute this code I can see that uh, we actually have um, four variables the web browser sent to the server and these are the names of these four variables. If I view the source code then I can find a simple form HTML element that includes four input HTML elements this one this one this one and of course the last one simple text field inside of each one of these input HTML elements we can find the name attribute the value of the name attribute is actually a name of a variable with a value. The value is either the value of the attribute or a value the user entered as in this case Okay, but the names of this, these four variables are the values assigned to the name attribute in each one of these four input HTML elements. So here are the names of these four uh, input HTML elements.